month of November, clear and blue sky, freezing temperature, mind-boggling view, steep up and downhill, crossing suspension bridges, walking into the thin air, exploring the hidden valleys, following rivers. I and my friends from the UK made it to the Everest Base Camp on November 23rd. Okay, these three men on Everest. Let's do it, guys. Welcome to Nepal. <laughs> yeah. I received my clients from the airport and drove to the hotel. We explored Tamil and had a few beers in the evening. Day second, they have free day. We did some last minute shopping and got ready for early morning flight next day. Day 3rd. 5.30 am in the morning, we already reached the airport, checked in and waited for the most amazing flight to Lukla. Weather was perfect and we flew on time. Daniel, we just landed in Turkey. <laughs> At 7 a.m., we landed in Lukla and checked into the one of the guest house, had breakfast, then we started our trek to Fagbing. It was my third trek in a row, one after another. And this time, I met more trekkers on the trail than my previous treks. But still, it wasn't busy busy. So, guys, how was the flight? Flight okay. Flight to Lukla. Good. You know, like, people say this is one of the most yeah. dangerous airport. It wasn't like that, no. No, but, but you know? Reckon, but you, I you can see that wall coming towards you. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, like, it's the most beautiful airport, you know? Yeah, could be, in the could lap of the Himalayas. Sometimes, you know? Yeah. yeah. That wind or rain catches you with that plane coming around the mountain. Yeah. That could be dangerous. You can feel, yeah? Can you, yeah when, when we, when we um, flew from Yeah, the there's some turbulence, yeah. yeah. I was saying that flight could be bad on a bad day, Sally, yeah? Our trekking began from Lukla along with the local villages following Dudkosi river. The weather was superb. We uh, were enjoying the beautiful guys. scenery and chit chat yeah. with each other. And then the yellow track suit. Yeah. <laughs> you could, you can't get lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was he wearing? He was like a like ripe bunch of fruits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Here come. Carry on. You guys are in the video. Carry on. My clients were amazed by the beauty of surroundings and lifestyle of Sherpa people along the trek. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> All right, thing, eh? Yeah, it's a Buddhist mantra. All right. Yeah, Om Mane Peme Hum. Oi! 
Yes. After three hours of walking, we enter Fagding village, which is the first bigger village after Lukla. We crossed another suspension bridge and went to the other side of Fagming village for overnight where we can have better accommodation and food plus friendly stuff. Hey, right. Good, good. That's it for today. Come high five. Tom. Oh, five. Sorry. We did it. Yeah. We did Super. it. Yeah. Baby one. Yeah, baby one. baby one today. So, Daniel, how was the trek today? Very nice. Yes. Very nice. Scenery is amazing. We did it. We Day did one that. done. Yeah. Completed. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So how was the trip? Hard and come home sick. It's really good. Good. It was dry, yeah. How was the like walking? Is all right. Walking the path. Is all right. You can mm -hmm. definitely tell. Mm -hmm. Different scenery there. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Okay. So we have a whole day for rest. Yes. We were hungry. We ordered a dal bhat for our lunch. Sitting under the sun and eating emmy dal bhat was great. We all enjoyed it. There was nothing much to do in free time. We may hike nearby the village, but we didn't. All evening, we started playing poker games and cards. It was fun, and after a delicious dinner, we went to bed. Okay guys, their second race packet. Tuesday my friend. Tuesday November uh, 16th. Okay. See? Everything packet. What we know is all about mountains and scenery. So their second half of Everest Base Camp Trek, we are heading to Namche Bazaar, which is about 12 km and we're gonna walk about six to seven hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. The first half is about three hours is not that bad. Mm -hmm. The second half is quite tough, all the way to Namche Bazaar is quite steep up. So most of the people they find, they found the day second is tough and stay on the track. So you may feel tough today, So, but tomorrow we have rest day, again guys hike, we, do, we don't do much, so easy going. Play spoons. Yeah, play spoon game, <laughs> and, you know, attack, love, Boca. yeah. So let's do it. Yes. Yeah. Let's rock and roll. Yeah. Let's go. Yes. 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 Awesome. The second day of every space camp trek, Thagding to Namche Bazaar, the main hub of Sagarmatha National Park. This is gonna be one of the toppest days of the trekking from an elevation gain perspective as you gain nearly 1000 meters. I'm always happy to start trek early in the morning. We had breakfast around 6.30 and just after 7, we started our trek. Starting in the morning, it was cold and we were freezing. But after 30 minutes of the walk, we started to warm up and need to lay off. Animals living in the mountain? Yeah, yeah, there are, there are, there are. Is that, is that why there's so many dogs here? Mm, no, dogs, they are domestic. They live with the people here. Oh yeah. <laughs> they are good now, but at night like they are like holy shit. <laughs> oh, last night. No these ones but by your hotel, three o'clock in the morning. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't I didn't sleep from three o'clock. Oh, I slept thirteen hours straight. Oh, <laughs> good for you. I'm so tough for you. It was a beautiful morning. We followed the Kosi River and kept continuing our hike. Mount Thamsirku was giving us Stunning looks below the Kosi River was singing.
Mm -hmm. Always one. Yeah. Donkeys are more important. You stand up. Okay, bridge number three. First three hours of trek, we hike through the local villages and enter the Sagarmatha National Park, where we need to buy entrance tickets. All the schools out here teach English, uh, Sally. And then after another 30 minutes, we start for early lunch. As there were no restaurants along the way before Namsi Bajar. After our lunch, we refill our water bottles for another 2 to 3 hours. The new porter from Mountain Old Tracks. I show him how to fucking do the job for you. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a bridge yeah, there yeah, at some point, yeah, Salia. Yeah, it was. What? It would have been bridge. a bridge there at one point, too. Okay, oh. people behind. Do you see the Hilary Bridge up there? We are going to cross very soon. It looks high. We continue to hike to Hilary Suspension Bridge, which is about 200 meter high from the river. Hilary Bridge, Epic Bridge, Suspension Bridge, whatever you name it. This is on the way to Namchi Bazaar. This bridge is named after Sir Edmund Hillary, which is often There's sometimes a scary feeling to some people due awesome. to heights it offers. It was clear day, about 20 minute walk from the Hillary Bridge, we got the first opportunity to see the Mount Everest. After another one and a half hour walk through the pine forest, we reached the biggest town, Namche Bazar, in the Kumbu region. Is this one, Sally? Uh, we did it like 12k in 7 hours, including lunch break. We are just entering Namche Bazar now, and the weather is perfect. Sunny, blue sky. And it was like awesome day. Look at the view. Hello there. And Mount Kwang Day can be seen clearly. Before yeah, we yeah, checked into the coffee. hotel, we went to the yeah. old highest bar, the Irish bar, yeah. for yeah. some cold drinks and we and went to the hotel after a delicious dinner, time to bait. Yeah. Is anybody serving? <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys can come later too. Why all Irish bars? We just entered the uh, Irish bar in Namte. Better than the one yesterday. Yeah, the fat thing one is, wasn't nice, very good. Nice, yeah. Thank you. Look at this. 
It's amazing. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing beer. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the other one. Hello, what are you doing? <laughs> Town we sleep in as big as this? No, no, there's only 340 houses. That's it, there's nothing. Oh. 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 Mine. What? Mine back. Nice and a beautiful room. With the, First, with the great... Huh? Doesn't matter. Today, day three of EBC trek is the first acclimatization day on our hike. It is a day spent hiking to a higher elevation to acclimatize our bodies. We started around 9 a.m. our acclimatization hike from Namche. First, we hiked to Sagarmatha National Park Headquarters Information Center, explored around, and we kept continue hiking towards to the Everest View Hotel. It was another beautiful day as we make the steep climb out of Namche. When we reach the plateau above Namche, we head northwest through the Sangboche airport. Yes, airport, you heard right. Well, it's actually just a dot air strip, sometimes used by the single engine airplanes and helicopters to bring a cargo mostly. We continue hiking the highest point of the hill, which provides an excellent view of the panoramic Himalayas, including Mount Everest. No, you guys are with me, that's why. <laughs> I'm the luckiest guy, you know. We had some fun time up there, dancing and enjoying the views of the Himalayas. Oh, I like, yeah. And we trek back down to Namche Bazaar lunch and went to Irish bar again for some drinks and play the pool. Evening back to hotel, dinner and sleep. The Emmy Dalbat for lunch is good. Mm. We have a few many different days, yeah, it's good food. Uh -huh. Than do that yesterday. No, I did. You did. Yeah. First name, Brad. Exchange it all. Exchange it all. So you, you, 
like some photos as well, I can see. After spending two nights at Namchi Bazar, today it's time to depart in search of more peaceful Himalayan village towards to Everest Base Camp. As usual, we started our hike to Tangboche after breakfast, which is pure delight every step of the way. The trail running along the seemingly endless ridge line leading out of Namche proves relatively flat and easy going. The views were unbelievable and there's the real sense at the end of the day that you are entering into the heart of the Khumbu. To little village, uh. no, no. <laughs> but the peat and poop. Ah. <laughs> this toilet, look at the Everest and covering by the clouds. Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Like the clouds make more beautiful sometimes. Let me zoom it a bit. Uh, the dirt path follows outline of the Dutkosi River Valley. Trekkers. Porters and acts all move along at a fair pace, taking in the ever expanding views. Every different corner gives you the view that literally takes your breath away. After two hours of easy walk, we dropped down to Fungitanga, about 300 meters through the rhododendron and pine forest. Tanga, where we stop for lunch before doing 600 meter steep climb to Tangboche oh. village. After lunch, we cross the Dutkosi river again. Oh. It's a climb of about 600 meter up through the mixed forest to Tangboche. The gradient is good and once you settle into a rhythm, it was enjoyable and steady walk up through the trees which provides welcome relief and shade from the sun. Progress is slowly made and after a couple of hours, we enter the Tangboche village. It was midday, the weather was perfect. Panoramic views of the Himalayas in front of us and the right, oldest monastery of Khumbu region also located here. Day, but it still looks awesome. We spent some time here and continued our hike for another yeah. 20 minutes to Dibuche village. Actually, we are not staying in Tangboche village. We were looking for better accommodation, that's why we trekked down 20 minutes further to Dibuche village. We checked into the guest house, press up, playing poker games, dinner, and good night sleep. I don't know if I can afford it, that. <sighs> I have to do some overtime when I come back home. Oh, look at this, it's fancy. Uh, I 
हेलो नमस्ते नाइस टाइम नी खोजी रोम नाइस बाथरूम विथ हॉट वाटर एंड लुक एट द कंफर्टेबल बेड हियर एंड वन ऑफ द हंग्री एग इज वेरी नाइस रोम गुड वो आर माय नाइस हाय या नाइस नाइस What's that? Yeah, they have electric blanket underneath. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. You just need to pay, that's it. So, middle of the when, when you finish your school, from what age? It was cold morning on day five of Everest Base Camp trip. We were heading to Dingbochi. We started our trek around 8 a.m. after breakfast. Starting part of the trek through the forest, it was freezing cold. Day five of the Everest Base Camp trek. We're heading to Dingbochi from Dingbochi. We had a good night's sleep. And the weather looks not happy. Hope it will be clear up very soon. Guys, let's do it. Let's try and roll. Let's do it. Day five. We are ready. Yeah. We are ready. After a thirty-minute easy hike, we crossed the last suspension bridge of Everest Base Camp. The weather wasn't the that great. Cloudy, but still, it was beautiful. As we make our way through the valley with the glacier river down and the snow-capped peaks out in the distance, a gradual climb took us to the village of Lower Pangboche with the spectacular views across Amadablam. We continued trek to Sumare village and after another 30 minute the trail split in the valley. The Khumbu breaks left up to a Feruche valley but we took a ride to the hamlet of Dingboche at the start of the Imjase valley. After 5 hours of walk we reached Dingboche. Yes, we were hungry. We didn't took lunch on the way. So the first thing we need is hot food. After a meal, check into the room and free evening. It was day six of the trek. After I woke up, I see outside not great weather. Day six of Everest Base Camp trek. We are doing a climatization hike in Dingbochi. Weather is not happy, but it's still it's still beautiful. Look at this. Clouds were playing hide and seek with the towering mountains. 
It was our second acclimatization day. We were planning for some hike nearby. For me, it's more like a sightseeing hike than acclimatization hike. After breakfast, around 9 a.m., we started our hike, taking pictures and videos. It was not an easy hike, a steep climb, but still we climbed up and gained 400 meter elevation. We stayed up there in the mountain for nearly one hour doing nothing. Oh yes, we did dance again, which was wow. <laughs> and we returned back to the guest house, had a lunch and free evening, playing cards and poker games after dinner, after bed. Milano? Yes. I don't know, Just move your body. Day 7 of Everest Base Camp Track. We are heading to Labuche 4900 meter from Dingbuche 4400. And look at these boys. They are doing so good so far. And one more day to reach Base Camp. Let's do it guys. Day 7 of Everest Base Camp Track. Beautiful morning, clear sky. It was awesome. As usual, after breakfast, we started our hike to Labuji, 4,910 meter. This is where most of the trekkers start to suffer from altitude sickness. So we walked very slow, drinking plenty of fluids. First two hours of trek was easy going, gradual up, beautiful views of the Himalayas, and looking down to Feruche Valley was breathtaking. I must say the first two hours hike was like walking in heaven, surrounded by peaks like Amadablam, Labuche, Tabuche, Thamsirku, and we saw the closer look to them which we had seen from Namche Bazaar too. Okay, go on. After two hours of trek, we crossed a river stream and then arrived at Thukla at an elevation of 4,600 meters. The only halt where we took some drinks and rest for a while. Okay, guys. Yeah. We did yesterday, did you do the yesterday? yesterday. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. See you there. Bye, guys. From Tukla, difficult part of the trek started. It was about one hour tough climb which took us to Thukla Pass, where the memorial of Everest Climber was. You get it not much closer, Sally? Yeah, you got nearly in the top. Yeah. And look at the view behind there, it's awesome. Yeah. This place called Thukla Pass. Where are the the 
memorials of the climbers who died on Everest. Here's Mr. Babu Sherpa. There's Iskar Fisher and some other famous mountaineers. And there are a few many small shrines and the mountains in the background. It's awesome. Mount Amadablum looks stunning there. After paying our respect to all the lovely people who died during the climbing on these mountains, we started hiking towards Labuche for another hour. Oxygen level is getting less, difficulties in breathing, temperature getting low. Finally, we reached Labuche village. We had lunch and free evening. Labuche village is 4,900 meter. We just arrived, we set out about 1 p.m. and we're gonna have a good rest tomorrow to base camp. Look at this, it's simply amazing. So beautiful, but why? Why is beautiful? Guys, see the reflection in the water, Mount Nupte? It's beautiful. Ah, it's there. Oh. That's outside. Look at the big boy here. Nowadays, tourists, you know, always bending down. That's it. <laughs> It was day 8 of our trek to Everest Base Camp. Today was the day. We were going to smash the base camp. But first, we have to make it from Labuche to Gorakshep. Gorakshep is at 5200 meter and overlooks Everest Base Camp. We started our hike at 6 am. It was freezing cold morning. Day 8. We are heading to Everest Base Camp from Labuche village. We started early morning around 6 and hoping to get Gorakshep around 9 and after some food we are heading to Mount Everest Base Camp. Let's do it guys! Dobra, dobra! Dobra, dobra! <laughs> good? All good, Sam. All good? All good. So what's the plan today? Smash Everest. <laughs> Everest? You sure? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> that sounds nice. <laughs> and Kalapatha. Probably. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. It's another beautiful morning. Sunny day. Blue sky. It's a bit chilly in the morning. But after the sun came down, it looks awesome. Here. We walk slowly, enjoying the great views of Nupche, Pumari, and many other great peaks all around. Starting was easy, but getting closer to Gorakshep, the path was rocky, tricky, and tiring on walking as we were walking 
on the glacier. Same time, breathtaking views made us less tired. We reached workshop just before 9 a.m. Well then guys, we're at the workshop now. It's a few meters down there. So where's base camp? Where the helicopters are now, yeah? No. Or higher? No. Where? Where is the, that white, white ice over there? Oh yeah. Yeah, there is the base camp. Gorakshep is the last resting spot for the trekkers on their trip before making the final trek to Everest Base Camp. Welcome to Gorakshep. We did it, man! Yes! We did it! Morning. Come, Tom boy. Good morning. Good morning. We did it. <laughs> Come on, big bro. High five. Uh, we're on the last stretch. On the last. Yeah. Stretch. <laughs> mm, now the Kyrie Lawrence is there. Let's do it. Guys, ready? Yes! Let's do it! Yes! yes. Every Space Camp, we are there now. We were just two hours away from Every Space Camp. After some meal, we started our hike to Base Camp. Perfect weather, warm and sunny. The hike to Every Space Camp was tough, with plenty of up and down and twisting rough terrain as you're watching in this video, plus altitude. But slow and steady, we made it. We are walking towards to Ever Space Camp. It's beautiful. Yes. You got to see him, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We did it. Yep, finally. No one crying. <laughs> it was different feeling standing on the Everest Base Camp. It doesn't matter how many times I have already done in my 25 years. I did enjoy the whole trip myself with my clients. We explore around and yes, we dance again at 5,364 meter.
slowly walk back towards Gorakhshep. Weather was still perfect. We arrived back to Gorakhshep around 1 p.m. Good, thank you. Yeah, we and did we it. decided to hike Kalapathar for you. a sunset view on the same day. Yes, we were tired and climbing Kalapathar is not easy. But we tried and we started hiking to Kalapathar around 3.30 p.m. As you watching in the video, it was a steep climb but the view is awesome. Every step we climb is worth climbing. After capturing a beautiful sunset view with our open eyes, we back down to Gorakshep for overnight. Well, climbing Kalapatha is tough. Cannot breathe. Oh my god. That is Everest. That's Mount Everest. David, Daniel and Tom, awesome job guys, you guys smashed it. So tomorrow we'll start our descent back towards to Lukla and even to Likatfandu in several days. Stay tuned for the next episode of the return journeys to Lukla and Katfandu which was filled up with full of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and got some information for your upcoming Trek Everest Base Camp. Any questions regarding trip, feel free to write us. Cheers. Thank you.